This video will help instructors get started using Turnitin Feedback Studio, accessed through Turnitin.com. By the end of this video, you will be able to log into your account, create a class, enroll students, set up an assignment, attach a rubric or grading form to an assignment, view submissions in an assignment. After you've walked through the process of setting up your account with your email and password, navigate to Turnitin.com and click the Login button in the top right. If your institution has set up single sign-on, you will be able to log in directly without setting up an account. If you are unsure how to log in, speak with your administrator. Let's start with creating a class. Classes are an important administrative function within Feedback Studio and allow you to set up assignments and add students. We will talk about standard classes in this video, but a master class can be created if you are teaching a class with multiple sections or multiple instructors. Click the Add Class button on the instructor homepage. On the next screen, enter the following information. Class name, enrollment key. This information will allow your students to access your class so should not be publicly shared the subject area, and the student level. Then select the end date for the class. Once the end date has passed, the class will not be accessible for submissions unless the class is reactivated. Click Submit to add the class. Class information will be displayed in a pop-up window containing the ID and enrollment key. Next, let's look at enrolling students. To access the student page, click the All Classes tab then select the name of the class you would like to access. This will take you to the class home page. From there, select the Students tab in the tab column. This will show you the list of students enrolled in the class. You have three options for enrolling students into your class. First, you can enroll students individually. Click the Add Student button and enter the required information. The student will receive a welcome email. And, if the student's email address is not already associated with an existing Turnitin user account, or if single sign-on has not been enabled by the institution, they will have to set up their own account before they can access the class. The next option is to add a list of students to the class. To do this, click the Upload Student List button. You can then choose a file to upload. Click Submit and then the student list is displayed. Note that the file used for this option must be a Microsoft Excel file featuring the first name, last name and email address of the students. To self-enroll in your class, students must have the numeric class ID and the case-sensitive class enrollment key. This provides a student user with authorization to access the class on Feedback Studio. The class ID is visible next to the class name on your homepage. To access the enrollment key, click the Edit button. You can then view and edit your enrollment key. All submissions by students are made to assignments within a class. There are two types of assignments available. Paper assignments, which students submit directly to the instructor, and peer mark assignments, which allow for students to give feedback on each other's work. For now, we will look at paper assignments. To begin, click the All Classes tab, then select the class to which you wish to add the assignment. Click the Add Assignment button. Ensure the Paper Assignment option is selected. On the next page, enter the assignment title. Select the start and due dates for the assignment. You will also need to select specific times. Students are only able to submit once the start date and time has passed. After the due date and time, students will be blocked from submitting papers unless you enable late submissions. The post date is when students can see your feedback on the assignment. Select whether the assignment will require similarity reports for submissions or whether any file type can be uploaded. The default option is to allow only file types that Turnitin can check for originality. For assignments that do not require similarity reports, you can select Allow Any File Type. This allows instructors to leave feedback on every file type. If repository options are enabled by your administrator, options will appear in the drop-down list. Select from the list where you would like papers to be submitted. The repository options available here are the standard paper repository, this allows the paper to be compared against students from other institutions, in addition to other content in the Turnitin database, such as web pages, journals and books. No repository. 
This means papers will not be stored and used for any similarity comparison. Depending on the settings selected by your administrator, you may see other options. If you need further guidance on which options to choose, speak with your administrator. You can also decide when students see the similarity report. If you choose the Immediately option, students will be able to use their similarity scores formative feedback and resubmit their assignment multiple times before the deadline. Additionally, you may ask students to submit their assignment using a preset template and use this setting to exclude this from the similarity report. After the assignment is created, the details for the assignment will be available in student accounts enrolled in this class. Now, let's look at rubrics and grading forms. Rubrics and grading forms can be attached to assignments during their creation. This can help students as they prepare their assignment, as the rubric or form provides criteria for how their work will be assessed. You can use rubrics available in your account or create your own, and even share these with colleagues. To attach a rubric or grading form, choose your form from the list, then click Submit. You do not need to have your rubric or form ready during assignment setup. You may add this later, but we advise you to add it before the assignment opens. Once students have submitted assignments, you may view submissions by clicking the class name. The status of the assignment shows how many students in the class have submitted. Click View to enter the assignment inbox, where you will see details for each submission. Click on a submission to see the paper. The text of the submission appears on the left, with the layers on the right-hand side. Layers allow you to toggle between the similarity, grading and AI writing views. Within the similarity layer, you will have access to flags, the match overview, and all sources. You can also filter the types of matches that appear in the report. Within the blue AI writing layer, you can see a report on the estimated amount of AI-generated content in the paper. Be aware that this is a prediction only and does not identify AI-generated writing to a 100% degree of certainty. You should use your judgment when determining whether academic misconduct has occurred. If you need more advice, look through these resources within the report. Since students will not be able to see the AI layer, we recommend letting them know it exists. Within the grading layer, you can add quick marks and comments, use ETS eRater and your rubric, and leave feedback as an overall voice or text comment. Use these tools to evaluate and leave feedback on your students' assignments. Arrows in the top right allow you to move easily to the next submission in the assignment. We hope this video provided you with a useful introduction to Turnitin Feedback Studio. For more help with Feedback Studio and with Turnitin's AI writing detection, visit these resources.